God's ain't ground, folks. Guys, I am on the way to an AC maintenance. This is an existing maintenance customer. This customer called yesterday, guys, and listen to this. This customer called and he said that he need, he wants to get the annual maintenance done. But he also said that when the AC runs, the lights flicker in the basement, but they don't stop flickering. And like, I make sure that he knows that, you know, the compressor, the outside unit, especially with older units, they draw a lot of power. Sometimes you could get some, you know, temporary flickering, but he said that the only way to for him to stop the lights from flickering is he has to turn the, the basement light off. And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, I mean, we didn't do anything like major there. I think he got like a capacitor replaced a couple of years ago. Nothing major. He just has an 80% furnace and coil and condenser. But guys, like, I'm like, wait a minute. If the lights don't stop flickering, I'm like, the only thing we can do is like, once we come out for the maintenance, we can check for amps. But I'm like, if you're not um, flipping breakers back on, if the AC is not tripping breakers, then I'm like, that might be like a borderline electric problem. Maybe something, you know, some wires are rubbing together. Something might be going on at the panel. But guys, I'm almost there right now. I'm going to go take a look and... Our job is just to figure out, make sure the AC is working fine, but also if the, if the amp draw on the AC unit is below threshold, then he might have to get like an electrician to look at the wires in his basement. But let's go take a look, guys. I'm almost there. I'll see y'all when I get inside. All right, guys, I got a 20 degree spread. And my filter's coming. The customer said that they would replace the filter few days ago and this isn't much of a clean out but the drains are going right into the sump pump there and let me look at this you say you recently got the panel done this I'm using a phone right here so I can see what is this 12 actually no this is on this isn't true this is on AC oh gosh 17 19 yep it's actually 1715 is AC. This is our double pull 30. Breaker size is good. Alright guys, let's go outside and let's take a look at the outside unit. I'm gonna check that for amps. I'll be back. Alright guys, we're outside. What is this? 13 sear, three ton. This doesn't look like 2016, this looks like 2008. R22 unit. And yeah, guys. It looks like they already got a hard start kit and cat replaced. Years prior. Let me clean out the electrical components and I'll be back. I see a little bit. All right, guys. This is definitely well below threshold, but this customer did get a bunch of electrical work done here. I think he got a generator put in, and he said he got some type of attic fan put in. But guys, I told him over the phone we can definitely isolate the AC. Make sure the Android is normal. Nothing looks abnormal. The breaker, everything is the right size, but lights flickering definitely could be an issue with something with the wires. But guys, that would definitely be an electrician's alley. They can isolate the circuit and lead him in the right direction moving forward. But guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this coil. Looks like we got a hose. So, let me 
me hit this coil and pack this up. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm just holding down the coil. Doesn't look too bad, but anytime you have a whole spigot or active whole spigot in close proximity, there's nothing wrong with just hitting this coil. I don't believe we did this before. So I'm just hitting this coil right now. All right, guys, there you have it. This is just a routine AC checkup. Everything's rocking and rolling. And I just spoke to the customer at this point. An electrician would probably be the best bet here. They can isolate the circuit and figure out the next step. But this AC unit is ready for the summer. All right, guys, let me rock out and roll. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.